Hey, we're going to show a quick tip today on doing tire changes. Sometimes you, you guys look at this and think, oh man, so much work because the service manual tells you to remove the exhaust system and it's a bunch of work when the axle's covered up by that exhaust. What we're going to do too is talk about just things to make it easier. Instead of taking your saddlebags all the way off, you can see how we bungee corded them up, which meant just taking off one string instead of the whole thing. We just want to be able to see what we're doing. Make sense? So when it says to take this exhaust off, one thing I always look at is, is there the possibility that by removing the shocks and manually messing with the swing arm that we could get that nut good and clear here? And that's what we're gonna show you right now. We've already taken the bolts off of here. We'll get the shock out of place. The shock's already off on the other side. So technically this is free to move up and down. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and use the jack. Jesse, you wanna lower that down? And the other thing we got to think about here is that we don't want to put this so low that we lose our jack from supporting the motorcycle, right? Okay, now we're bottomed out right now, but we're sitting on these two by fours, right? So if you look here, we have clearance now to go ahead and access that, right? But I wouldn't quit there because my next concern is, is you being a little aggressive. By the time you put a socket on here, there is clearance, but I'd hate to think about we might scratch this. So you can put some tape right here to protect this. That'd be a great idea. But let me show you one other thing we can do. Tyler, we're gonna go ahead and just stick a board under there, rotate that under. That's good. Look at all the room. We have a mile of room now to deal with this, get this wheel off. And I want you to think about this. If, if I think about on this particular bike, there was actually one, two, three exhaust joints that I'm risking having to replace a gasket um, or create a leak or have some other issue. So I'd, I'd say this, I'd say be careful with tricks and tips because uh, you know, could you be causing other problems? In this particular one, I love it. I'm not gonna have to buy any more parts. It also makes the job much faster, but I will say this. We went ahead and looked at what we were gonna to have to take off and kind of weighed that out. Makes sense. Fast, easy, makes money, make good time, all good things. Mm -hmm. All right, make it a great day. Keep wrenching, share this with a mechanic or friend who you think would benefit from this lesson.